A very good afternoon and a very warm welcome back to your favorite tele-education program, Home Study. I'm hoping that you you had a beautiful Thursday evening and a geared up for another for, uh, another day of learning, which is today, which is a Friday afternoon. My name is Nogwazi Jamini, and as like I said, I'm hoping that you're geared up for another day of learning, and this is what your timetable looks like today. From 2 p.m. until 2.30 p.m., we have the grade zero lesson. From 2.30 p.m. until 3 p.m., we have expressive art for the grades 1 and 2. From 3 p.m. until 3.30 p.m., we have mathematics for grades 5 and 6. From 3.30 p.m. until 4 p.m., we have Siswati for the Form 1s and the Form 2s. From 4 p.m. until 4.30 p.m., we have chemistry for the Form 4s. And closing off the day is mathematics for the Form 4s from 4.30 p.m. until 5 p.m. And just another reminder that not only are we live on Eswatini TV, but we're also live on our YouTube channels and our Facebook channel. So you guys can join us on those platforms from now until 5 p.m. And of course, to use the WhatsApp number to text us any questions that you might have during your lessons. Now, without wasting any time, the Grade Zero teacher, Kosi Simelane, is already with me in the studio. And today we are doing a review on shape Shapes, numbers, and animals. Hey, good afternoon, ma'am. How are you? Good afternoon, Nogwazi. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Like I had said, we're doing a review on shapes, numbers, and animals. What are you expecting your grade zeros to have learned by the end of this lesson? Nogwazi, by the end of the lesson, I'd like the grade zeros to have learned more about their animals to differentiate them from domestic and the wild animals, even the numbers and shapes that we have we have learned. All right, Kosi, thank you so much for that. Great zeros, I hope that you are ready for your lesson, of course. Uh, I'll let you begin with your lesson, Kosi. Thank you, Nogwazi. Good afternoon, boys and girls at home. As Nogwazi has said, my name is Teacher Kosi Smelane. We'll be doing the lesson together today. Before we do anything, let us start with the months of the year. I hope you still remember the months of the year. We are going to say the months of the year together. Let us begin. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yes, these are the months of the year. I think you know how many months of the year we have. Let us count the months of the year so that we know how many months are there in a year. Let us count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 oh there are 12 months in a year i think you know which month we are in now we are in the month of november which is the 11th month okay i know some of you say oh, how about the day today yes we are going to know what is the day today today it is a friday because yesterday it was a thursday so here we have this card which tells us that today is friday let us read together today is friday so today is friday tomorrow it's going to be a, a saturday let us move on to the weather some of you want to know how is the weather where i am and you'll be looking through your windows to see how the weather is where you are maybe it is sunny i don't know maybe it is a rainy day where you are maybe it is partial cloudy where you are maybe it is a cloudy day so with me where i am today it is a cloudy day the sky is covered with clouds and there is no sun and there is no sky that we can see but we all we could see are the clouds and the clouds are gray and white in color so today it is a cloudy day as we have said we are looking through our shapes the shapes that we have learned so today we are going to review our letters our shapes sorry for that so let us begin what shape is this yes this shape is a square we say the square has how many sides four equal sides when we say that the sides are equal it means all the sides of the square are the same there is no longer side there is no shorter side if all the sides are equal then this is a square let us move on how about this one it is round yes this shape is round and we call it a circle we call this shape a circle it doesn't have any corners it is just a round like a ball and it is a circle let us move on to this one do you still remember this one yes this one is a 
triangle. This is a triangle. It has three sides and three corners and we call it a triangle. Now let us move on to the next one. This one and what do we call it? Do you still remember it? It is a diamond. We call this one a diamond. It got how many how many shape how many corners one two three four but it isn't a square it's just have these corners that as land the, the sides are slanting on the sides and even here the, sl the sides are slanting so and we move on to this one what do we call this one yes this is a rectangle a rectangle has two long opposite sides and two short opposite sides when you're talking about opposite sides we're talking about sides that are facing each other if something is opposite it means it's on this side and this side they're facing each other and then we say that is an opposite so here the sides of a tr of a rectangle it has two long opposite sides and two short opposite sides and we call it a rectangle there are many things that you can look around that are in a rect rectangular shape now let us move on to this one. No, someone is saying it's a circle. It isn't a circle, but it is an oval. It it has it, it is shaped like an egg. So it is not round like a circle, but it is a little bit longer on the sides and call it an oval shape. And here we have this one. But do you know this one? Yes, this one is a star. This one is a star and sometimes you could see stars up in the sky at night. And we have this shape here. I know some of you, they like this one and they know it. What shape is this? Yes, this shape is a heart. This shape is a heart. And we have this last shape here. Do you still remember this one? It is a crescent we call this one a crescent it is shaped like a moon and we also say it is shaped like a banana so this one is a crescent let us go through the shapes once again square circle crescent triangle diamond rectangle oval star and a heart Thank you boys and girls for doing the, the shapes with me. Now let us move on to the numbers. Numbers are everywhere where we are. We see things and we always want to know how many things we have seen around. Let's say maybe you're moving around the park. You want to know how many trees have I seen in the park? Someone asked you. You will say, I have seen two trees. Or maybe someone said, no, I've seen four big trees and two small trees so you say that everywhere that we go we are always counting so numbers are very important for us now let us count here with me in this chart we have numbers and these numbers let us count them together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in this chart we've got numbers from 1 to 10 then i have these two numbers here do you still remember what number is this one yes this number is number 11 this number is number 11 and this one number 12 yes this is number 12 now let us look at number one when we say something is one what can we see here we only see one doll here it's only one there is no other it's just a single thing now this is number one here how many worms do we have here we've got one two two worms and this is number two and here we've got one two three okay we've got three butterflies and this is number three now let us count here how many bees do we have one two three four we've got four bees and this is number four now let us count here let how many spiders do we have one two three four five spiders so this is number five and here let us count together one two three four five six we've got six ladybugs so this is number six and here there are lots of ice creams let us count how many are here one two three four 
five, six, seven. And this is number seven. So let us count here how many gifts do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is number eight. Now let us count here how many lolos do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine lollipops. And here let us count the flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten flowers. Now, please let us count together these pencil crayons here. We'll crown, count how many they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are eleven pencil crayons here. And we say this is number eleven. So, here with me, I've got this one here. I will add it here, and we are going to count together how many they are. First of all, we count from it, from 1 up to 11. Now, I've added one pencil crying. Let us count how many they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, now they are 12. Here is number 11, and this is number 12. Thank you so much for counting with me. Let us move on to the animals. Remember, we are reviewing animals. I know we've learned about so many animals. We learned about domestic animals. We said domestic animals are the animals that we keep at home or in the farm. And we learned about wild animals. We said wild animals are the animals that lives in the forest or we find in the camp game parks. When we visit the game parks, we see wild animals. Animals that are not kept at home, but they are kept in the forest. They live in the forest. So today, we are going to review the animals. Let us just name the animals that you see on this chart here. Then we go through them together. Here, what do we have? We have a zebra. This is a zebra. And here we have sheep. There are many sheep here. And here we've got some chickens and this one cow this is a cow and what animal is this this is an elephant well done here what animal is this one it is a lion yes this is a lion and here we have a hippo or it is a hippopotamus but we usually call it a hippo but it's a hippopotamus and in short form it's a hippo this is a hippo. And here we have two long neck animals. What do we call them? Yes, these are giraffes. These are giraffes. And here, what is this? Wow. Yes, this is a cat. We have a cat. And here, this is a pig. This is a pig. And here we have a horse. We have a horse. And last year we have a dog so I will ask you which animal do we keep at home which we call a domestic animal do we keep a zebra at home no we don't keep a zebra at home okay do we keep um, sheep at home or in the farm yes we do keep sheep at home and do we keep uh, chickens at home yes we do have chickens at home uh, do we keep a cow Yes, we do keep cows at home. Do we keep um, an elephant? No, an elephant, we don't keep it at home, but it is a wild animal. Do we keep a lion at home? No, we don't keep a lion at home. It is also a wild animal. How about a hippo? A hippo? No, we don't keep a hippo at home. It is also a wild animal. How about the giraffes? Do we have giraffes at home? No, we also don't keep giraffes at home. It is, these are also wild animals. And how about a cat? Yes, we do keep cats at home. It is a domestic animal. And we do love cats, do we? Don't we? Uh-huh. How about a pig? We keep pigs at home. It is a domestic animal. How about a horse? 
Yes, we do keep horses at home because they help us in many things. We ride on horses. They also ca carry our goods. So horses, we also keep them at home. They e it is a domestic animal. How about a dog? Yes, a dog is also a domestic animal. So now we know about domestic animals and the wild animals. That is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you so much, uh, Kosi, for your lovely, lovely uh, lesson for the Great Zeros. We're hoping that they enjoyed it, of course. And we are wishing you a beautiful day and, of course, a beautiful weekend. Thank you so much, Kofi. Thank you so much. Up next is the Grade 1 and 2 Expressive Arts lesson. We will be right back after this. going to learn about what water is made of, where we can find it in the world, develop an understanding about how water is on a continuous journey called the water cycle. Are you ready? Let's go! How do we hear? How do we see? What makes up the air we breathe? How does the plane fly over the sea? How do the planets float so weightlessly? Let's go! Let's go! It's technology. At it again, once again, what it is, it's the biggest, the dopest, the freshest. The biggest, the dopest, the freshest, the sickest, it's the illest. Illest. It's the biggest, the dopest, the freshest, the sickest, the illest. Anytime we're showing TV screens, it's TBD. Welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. It is the beatdown. Yo, 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 yeah, yeah.
and Gigi is a movie star I've seen in my life. I can't be able to say, hello everyone. This is all, that's what all, this is who I am. But let's go. Swag on my swag, swag, swag radar. <laughs>
why man made patterns are made by people using found objects. We then make our own pattern using sweet ray pass. We then make our own pattern using sweet ray pass. This is the pattern that we made last time. Pattern using some sweet ray pass. My lovely learner, we said today we'll be learning about the jobs people do. What is a job? What is a job? A job is the work that someone does to earn or get money. A job is the work that someone does to get to earn or get money. Another word for a job is occupation. Another word for a job is occupation. Types of jobs or occupations. Types of jobs or occupations. Teacher, firefighter, police officer, daughter, dentist, nurse, pilot, animal doctor, farmer, air hostess, tailor, and many more. Let's continue. Wow, a teacher. What is the role of a teacher? What is the role of a teacher? A teacher helps the children to learn to read, write, and teach them numbers. A role of a teacher? A teacher helps the children to learn to read, write, and teach them numbers. Let's look at the first picture. There is a teacher there. What is she doing? She's helping the children to learn to read. She's helping the children to learn to read. The second picture. The, the teacher is helping the children to learn to write. The teacher is helping the teacher to learn to write. The last picture. The teacher helps the children to learn to... Oh, sorry, my dear Lena. The teacher helps the pupils by teaching them numbers i am a teacher i am a teacher i help pupils or a learner to learn to write how can you write when we are writing my lovely learner you start from the left of your paper to the right when we are writing my learner, my dear learner you start from the left of your paper to the right Okay, when you are reading, my lovely Lena, when we are reading, you start with the topic. When we are reading, you start with a topic and then you read the story. As you read the sentences, you start from the left of the paper to the right. And then you start upwards, goes downwards. That's my role. I help children to read and write. A police officer a police officer what is a role of a police officer a police officer prevents crime a police officer prevents crime sometimes police officers come to our schools to teach us more about preventing crime once you disobey the rule you get arrested who arrests you my dear Lynn? a police officer the role of a police officer is to prevent crime once you disobey the rules you get arrested let's continue my lovely Lena. wow wow what can you see in this picture yes this is a traffic officer a traffic officer what is the role of a traffic officer what is the role of a traffic officer a traffic officer controls traffic on roads traffic officer controls traffic on roads yes the role of a traffic officer is to control traffic on roads 
Yes, my lovely Lena. Let's continue, my dearest Lena. A soldier. A soldier. What is a role of a soldier? How is a soldier important? A soldier protects our country from the armed enemies that may come and attack it. A soldier protects our country from the armed enemies that may come and attack it. A soldier always carries big guns. A soldier always carries big guns. Here's the gun. Yes, my dear Lena, let's continue. A doctor. A doctor. Remember, we are still learning about the jobs people do. A doctor. What is a role of a doctor? What is a role of a doctor? A doctor cares for and treat patients with illness, diseases, and injuries. A role of a doctor cares for and treats patients with illness, diseases, and injuries. Where can you find a doctor, my lovely Lena? Excellent! You can find a doctor in a hospital. You can find a doctor in a hospital. Let's continue, my lovely friend. A dentist. A dentist. What is a role? How is a dentist important to us? A dentist takes care of your teeth. A dentist takes care of your teeth. A dental chair is a special chair that goes up high so the dentist can look into your mouth. Yes, a dental chair is a special chair that goes up high so the dentist can look into your mouth. Here is the dentist. Here's the special here's the special chair for a dentist. Let's continue, my lovely friend. A nurse. A nurse. How is a nurse important to us? How is a nurse important to us? A nurse teaches people on prevention of illness and injury. A nurse teaches people on prevention of illness and injury. Here is the nurse. Let's continue. A nurse also helps the doctor to make sick people well. A nurse also helps the doctor to make sick people well. Here is the doctor. Here is the nurse. The nurse helps the doctor to make sick people well. Here is our friend. Our friend is sick. You can find a nurse in a clinic or hospital. Where can you find a nurse, my lovely Nana? You can find a nurse in a clinic or hospital. Let's continue, my lovely friend. Animal doctor. Animal doctor. I know you want to be an animal doctor. What are you going to do if you are an animal doctor? What is your role? An animal doctor controls diseases, treats sick and injured animals. An animal doctor controls diseases, treats sick and injured animals. Let's continue my lovely Lena. A firefighter. Firefighters. What is the role of firefighters? Firefighters drive fire trucks and other emergency cars. Firefighters drive fire 
trucks and other emergency cars like ambulances even in firefighters they do they do have ambulances they put out fires using water horses here's the water horse my lovely lena here's the water horse here is them fire truck they are driving they they help get out people from a burning building if a building is burning we used to call fire fighters they also help in emergencies such as accidents like car crashes okay my lovely lena that is the importance of a firefighter let's continue wow we can see a picture this is an airplane so as the air link this is our flag show that it's a it's an airplane of Switzerland. there are people who work in an airplane a person who flies an airplane or a helicopter is called a pilot a person who flies an airplane or a helicopter a helicopter is called a pilot and then a person who serves the passengers in an airplane with food and some drinks is called an air hostess an air hostess serves the passengers in an airplane with food and drinks while a pilot flies an airplane or a helicopter okay let's continue my lovely lena a broadcaster a broadcaster a broadcaster a broadcaster works in either a radio or television a broadcaster works in either a radio or television what is a role of a broadcaster? What is a role of a broadcaster, my lovely Lena? A role of a, pro a broadcaster is to inform, educate, and entertain the listeners or viewers at home. The role of a, uh, of a broadcaster is to inform, educate, and entertain the, list, the listeners or viewers at home. Let's continue, my lovely Lena. A farmer. A farmer. How farmers are important to us. Farmers produce good crops, vegetables, or keep farm animals that will be needed by people to live the role of a farmer farmer farmers produce good crops vegetables or keep farm animals that will be needed by people to live this is a farmer he's plowing this is a farmer our friend is a flower is a farmer what is she doing? She's, she's watering her garden. She's a farmer. Also, farmers keep farm animals that will be needed by people to live. These are goats, sheep, cows. When cows are many, we say cattle. That is the role of a farmer. Farmers are also important in our lives. A carpenter. What is the role of carpenters? The carpenters use their tools to make tables and chairs and even houses out of wood. The carpenters use their tools to make tables chairs and even houses out of wood look at the first picture 
there's a carpenter you can see table some chairs those things are made by a carpenter let's continue my lovely friend domestic worker domestic worker we used to say domestic workers but and those people are helping in our homes what is a role of a domestic worker what is a role of a domestic worker domestic worker washes and cleans the employer's home domestic worker washes and cleans the employer's home give gives care for elderly family members and cares for young children she also cooks for the family the importance of domestic worker she gives care for elderly family members like grandmother and grandfather when while our parents and are, are, are at work we used to ask domestic workers to help them also they care for young children she also cooks for their family there are young children there and that lady is a domestic worker domestic workers are so important so my dear lena make sure you respect them you respect them because they are so important a baker a baker what is a role of a baker what is the role of a baker the baker gets up early to knead the dough and bake the bread we eat every day the baker gets up early to knead the dough and bake the bread we eat every day bakers can also bake some cakes buns scones and many more just look at the picture there is a lady and our friend those people are bakers they are baking they are baking let's continue my lovely lena a tailor a tailor how is a tailor important to us how is a tailor important to us what is a role of a tailor the tailor makes clothes such as shirts dresses trousers suits and coats the tailor makes clothes such as what very good shirt excellent dresses trousers suits and coats let's continue my lovely friend we are still learning the jobs people do a singer a singer what is a role of a singer how is a singer important a singer a singer is a person who uses his voice or her voice to make music a singer is a person who uses his or her voice to make a music let's sing let's be singers yes that is a role of a singer vendor vendors vendors sell food fruits and vegetables to customers vendors sell food fruits and vegetables to customers just look at the first picture 
you can see a little boy that boy is buying that boy is buying and the man is a vendor this man is a vendor and that boy is a customer you should know my lovely Lena once you go to shop you become a customer the one you will find in a market or in a shop is a if you find someone in a shop it's a shopkeeper but in a market it's a vendor look at the second picture there is a lady and there is a girl the lady is a vendor and the girl is a customer let's look at this picture two boys the two boys are yes the two boys are customers and the lady is a vendor why are you saying the, the boys are customers the boys are buying they are buying some fruits they are buying some fruits there let's continue my lovely learner in our learner's workbook page 35 in our learner's workbook page 35 let us talk about the jobs won by those people in our learner's workbook page 35 let us talk about the jobs done by those people the first picture show us a man what is he doing yes he's sweeping which means the man is a cleaner the man is a cleaner my lovely learner the man is a cleaner the second picture there's a lady a lady she's carrying a cake yeah. this cake is yummy this cake is so delicious so this lady is a baker my lovely learner this lady is a baker hey the cake is so yummy the cake is delicious the dead picture you can see a lady on a road in a car that's a special car a car for police this car is for police which means that lady is a traffic officer traffic traffic officer yes a traffic officer a traffic officer this picture shows us a a man he's carrying an injection wow and he's wearing a white coat he's wearing a white coat which means that man is a doctor doctor my dear lena oh good good excellent my lovely lena that man is a doctor this picture that woman is carrying a yes a spinach what is the role of that woman what is her job yes her job is farmer she's a farmer my dear lena oh good girl good boy my dear lena that lady she's a farmer the last picture we can see a man he's picking something there what is he picking fruits yes what means that man is fruit is a fruit harvester fruits fruit what harvester my lovely lena fruit harvester let's continue my dear lena draw yourself draw yourself doing the job you would like to do when you get old on your drawing book and color it draw yourself doing the job you would like to do when gets old and on your drawing book and color it so take out your drawing book just draw yourself if you want to be a teacher draw a teacher if you want to be a soldier draw yourself carrying a big gun yes my lovely lena in summer from this lesson we learned about different types of jobs or occupations 
From this lesson, we learned about different types of jobs or occupations. We also discussed the pictures in our workbooks. We also discussed the pictures in our workbooks. Lastly, my lovely Lena, we drew ourselves doing the job we would like to do when we get old. That marks the end of today's lesson, my lovely Lena. Make sure you wash your hands using soap and running water. Remember, my dear Lena, keep your nails short. Just keep your nails short. Also, wear your mask. A proper mask should cover your mouth and nose. Teacher Tabete says, bye. Thank you so much, Teacher Tabete, for that wonderful, wonderful lesson on the jobs that we do. I'm sure it would be interesting to get those workbooks to see what jobs they would love to do. Yes. yes. <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much. We're wishing you a lovely day and, of course, a lovely weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much. After the break is the Grade 5 and Grade 6 Mathematics lesson with Sibusi Sombuli. We will be right back after this. On Sadek, telling the African story from an African perspective. This is the only news program bringing you news, views, and interviews straight from the countries where it happened. Join me in the Shish. Welcome back to Home Study Live on Eswatini TV. A very good afternoon to you if you have just joined us. My name is Nogwazi Lamini. Right now we are doing grade 5 and grade 6 mathematics with Mr. Sibusi Sombuli, who is already with me in the studio. A good afternoon, sir. How are you? Afternoon, I'm very fine. Uh, I'm fine as well. That's Thank great. you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Don't worry, it's yeah. fine. Okay. Um, today we're doing minutes and seconds, right? Exactly. Okay, what are you expecting your grade 5 and your grade 6 is to have learned by the end of this lesson? I just expect them to be able to convert minutes to seconds mm -hmm. and also seconds to minutes. Okay. Maybe also to work word problems or statements all right out. okay thank you so much for that mr mbuli yes. i remember i used to struggle with reading time myself i hope that the grade five and the grade sixes are not going to be like me <laughs> i hope so grade five and grade six i hope that you are ready for your lesson and of course another reminder that we are live on youtube and on facebook you can join us on those platforms and of course to ask us any questions that you might have on our whatsapp number you may please begin with your lesson sir thank you good afternoon lena at home as a as she has mentioned, I am Mr. Sibusi Somboli, teaching you mathematics grade 6. Our main focus is on minutes and seconds, which means we'll be just uh, converting seconds to minutes. And you may ask yourself, why, why do we teach, uh, why do we teach uh, minutes and seconds? Minutes and seconds, in fact, we are just talking about time. So the question is, why do we teach time? Time is an imperative life skill. 
needed by everyone. In fact, our life is measured by time. And we need to read the clocks in order to understand a concept of minutes and seconds to ultimately keep with the society. The society, the society is using a, a time. Also, uh, by the end of this lesson, you are expected, Lena, to be able to convert minutes, minutes to seconds, and also to be able to change seconds to minutes. And also to work out questions from statements or word problems that involve minutes and seconds. These are our uh, uh, objectives. You may ask yourself, why is this lesson the first time we are learning it or is it the first concept? No, it is not. We covered some of the concepts in our previous uh, grades or previous uh, levels. We converted hours to minutes which means this is not a new concept we converted hours to minutes also and also vice versa minutes to hours and another thing that we we have done is to multiply a fraction by a whole number it's uh, it's just another concept that we we covered in our previous uh, lessons. There are materials which are very, very important or which are very, very key as this lesson progresses. Lena at home, make sure these materials are just next to you. Like the people's book, the book that we are using in mathematics, uh, the, the exercise book, it is very important. A pen, a pencil, a clock face, because here we are talking about the time, a clock face must be there. So these materials are very, very important because as this lesson progresses or towards the end, we are going to use uh, these uh, materials. Then there are key words or there are important words that we must understand as this lesson uh, progresses. Like uh, since we are talking about the time, the first, the hands of a clock, the hands of a clock. The first one is uh, the, the hour hand. The hour hand, we must know that when talking about the hour hand, we are talking about the shortest, we are talking about the shortest hand, the shortest hand or pointer on a clock. It is lowest, it is lowest, which means uh, you can uh, hardly see its movement. It is slowest, you can hardly see its movement. And we also have a minute hand. A minute hand, it is the long hand. It is the long hand on a clock and it is faster than the hour hand. It is faster than the hour hand, which means it is lower, but it is faster than the hour hand. We have those uh, 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 two hands. Then we also have uh, a, 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 a second hand. The second hand. Then on the second hand, uh, uh, second hand, it is, it is the hand that moves faster or fastest, fastest on a clock. It shows movement. It shows movement. Uh, it shows movement of or speed or speed of the seconds. It shows movement or speed of the seconds. Then we also have a, a, a whole turn. Whole turn is another very, very important uh, concept. This uh, whole turn, it means it is a 360 degrees turn, which means just around, just like a circle. We are just moving around 360 60 degrees circle. For an example, if you move the hands from 12 o'clock, you just move it clockwise back to 12. That is a, a, a whole 10. I hope you learn at home, you understand uh, uh, what a whole 10 uh, is. Then, since this topic is not something which is a, a, just a new concept altogether, we converted hours to minutes. Then now, just briefly, how do we convert hours to minutes? Very, very simple, Lena. Here, since we know that one hour is exactly 60 minutes, 
is exactly 60 minutes. So here, when converting hours to minutes, you just multiply the given hours by, you multiply the given hours uh, by 60, which means in this case, in this case, it will be 5 multiplied by uh, 60, in which this will give us a uh, 300, and this is 300 um, uh, uh, minutes. Why? It's because we are changing hours to two minutes. Also then, there's a scenario where you can be given just half a quarter, uh, oh, okay, a third, I'm sorry, a quarter hours. How many minutes are there? Still even there. You use the same, the same format. You just multiply this third, multiply it by uh, 60. In this case, this three will cancel and get one here. This three, it goes twice here, then here zero, then 20 times one, you get a uh, 20 minutes. May I emphasize? It is very important to, to write the minutes. You must understand the question and also write the minutes. In this case, we want minutes. Then also then the other way around from minutes now to hours from minutes to hours we are converting then that when changing minutes now to hours we just divide by 60 we divide lena by 60 in our case here we have 120 minutes so it will be 120 divided by divided by 60 then when we're dividing this, this zero will cancel this one. So six here, it goes once. Six into two, it goes two times, which means our answer will be two hours. In this case, we are saying 120 minutes is equal to two hours. Two hours. 120 divided by uh, 60. Then now, you can be given also a situation whereby you are given just 10 minutes. 10 minutes they ask you in 10 minutes how many hours are there lena at home you can count even you at home 10 minutes now how many hours are there some of you i know they are nodding they say hey no it is impossible no everything is, is possible it is possible with mathematics here so what you do here you just divide the 10 by 60 in this case in this case which means it becomes 10 over 60 10 over 60 so now your task is to simplify this fraction which means this zero can cancel this one we are left with a sixth which means a uh, 10 minutes is equals to a sixth hours i hope you are following lena at home this is a very very important a uh, 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 concept then now into our business today we are looking at this uh, now changing minutes to seconds. But before that, we must understand a clock face. I hope you, 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 you just have a, close, a clock face at home. Take it. Look at it. I want you to look at the hands. Take your clock face. There is this hand, short hand here, this one. This short hand is known as the hour hand. And we said it is the shortest hand or pointer on a clock. We also have this hand, which is uh, uh, longer than uh, uh, the hour hand. This one is known as the minute hand. Then the minute hand is low, is, is low, is a long hand on a clock. It is faster than the hours. It is faster than the hour hand. So these hands, somehow, they are related. But the minute hand is faster, is, is uh, uh, longer sometimes longer or also it is faster even in movement it's longer and it is so faster even in movement then we also come to the small usually thin hand this one which is known as the second hand this one is the fastest hand on a clock face it is the fastest hand on a clock face lena at home i have one clock face with me here i just want you to observe what i am talking about i have this clock face here if you look at this clock face here uh, this clock face you can see the second hand already it is moving the second hand is moving here 
it's moving. It's known as the second hand. Then we also have the mini tent. Then the mini tent, it is this longer one. This longer one. We can see here. It is this longer one. It is the mini tent. Then we also have the hour hand, according to my clock face. Then the other, the hour hand, it is this short one here. This short one. It is the hour hand here. So this is my clock face, which means we are applying this, which means even at home, we are using clocks, we are using time at home, as you can see mine here. I hope, Lena, you are uh, following uh, as this lesson uh, progresses. And now, how to calculate minutes then to seconds? Minutes to two seconds. Minutes uh, two seconds. What you do here, remember, we are saying one minute is exactly 60 seconds. And you must know that. So when you are given three minutes, how many seconds are there in three minutes? Same format, same way. You just multiply these three minutes. Multiply it by 60. Why 60? Because we know that one minute is close to 60 seconds. If you multiply 3 by 60, you get 180 seconds. Which means 3 minutes is equal to 180 seconds. You can be given a situation again whereby you are given a 60 minutes how many seconds are there in a sixth minute it's still a possible a uh, uh, concept you just multiply the sixth by 60. if you multiply here like this this six it goes once then six here it goes once into zero it doesn't go then 10 multiplied by one you get 10. this 10 is 10 seconds which means 60 mi a 60 minutes is equal to 10 seconds. Then you can also be given a scenario whereby it's 1 minute 23 seconds. How many seconds are there? Even in this one, since the seconds are already there, you can see the 23 seconds. We are converting to seconds. 23 seconds are there. So now we have to deal with the 1 minute. So 1 minute, you say 1 multiplied by 60 you get 60 seconds then you add the given you add the given seconds which is you add the 23 in this case our final answer will be 83 which means which means uh, in one minute 23 seconds we get 83 seconds we get 83 seconds so i hope lena at home you are following you are following then now let us use now our clock face now i want us to use our clock face this is our clock face i want us to use it but when we use it before maybe i show you my clock face i want you to look to look at this when using the clock face we deal with the whole tense remember when we're talking about the whole tense we're talking about the rotation from 12 back to 12 again which means for one minute for one minute it can be a one whole ten this is one whole 10. Then also for another minute, we will just add another one whole 10. Whole 10. Plus another minute because there are three. It will be another one whole 10. So now, one whole 10. One whole 10 uh, uh, will be uh, 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 60 uh, will be 60 uh, uh, seconds. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. Plus, another whole 10 will be another 60 seconds. Plus, another whole 10, which means it will be a, a plus 60 seconds. Then you add this. It is like repeated addition. If you add 60 plus 60 plus 60, you will get 180 seconds. Seconds. Then now, I want to show you uh, my clock face. I want to show you my clock face. Here is my clock face. Here is my clock face here. Here is my clock face. Then we are saying, as you move, uh, as these seconds move, these are the seconds. These are the seconds. As they rotate or they move from here 
back to here it will be it will be one whole turn of the seconds one whole turn of the seconds so one turn one whole turn of the seconds which makes one minute then again another seconds they can move again here from here uh, moves back to 12 that's another whole turn another whole turn which means another 60 seconds then the third one from 12 it can also move around here like this then back to here that's another whole turn that's why we are saying it will be 60 plus 60 plus 60 then you get your 180 seconds i hope you are following lena at home just using a clock face just using a clock face so it is very important to know uh, 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 how to solve problems because in mathematics we are saying we don't depend on one method we use different methods we work out, we use what we see, or we use our clock face. There are other methods, but maybe this time we are just uh, using two. But mathematics, uh, in mathematics, we can use as many methods as possible. Then now, changing now the seconds to minutes. You are in a situation whereby you are given the seconds. Then you are asked to change them to minutes. How do you do that? We are reducing the seconds into minutes which means now you divide 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 by divide by 60 because we are reducing the seconds divide by 60 to get uh, uh, the minutes there is a, a situation you are given 300 seconds in these 300 seconds they ask you to find a uh, 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 minutes here so you will divide this 300 seconds divide it by 60 let us use this method of dividing then this zero cancels this one then this six goes once then six into this 30 it goes five times so this is equals to five minutes which means we are saying we are saying 300 seconds is equals to five minutes 30 seconds then what about 30 seconds Lena at home, work out, work out even you at home. 30 seconds, how many minutes are there? So even here, you can, you can still divide. You can divide this 30 by 60 like this. Then in this one, you simplify. This zero will cancel this zero. Then three here, it goes once. Then three here, it goes uh, two times, which means we get a half, one out of two. One out of two what? minutes units in mathematics are very important in situations like this remember to write the units they are very important then you are given 180 seconds 180 seconds is equal to how many uh, minutes even in this one you divide the 180 by 60 I hope you are following Lena at home. You can even work out. Work out 180, uh, 180 seconds divided by 60. You divide that one. 180 seconds divided by 60. Then this zero cancels this one. Then six here, it goes once. Six into 18, it goes three times, which means it will, the answer, it will be three out of one, which leads to three minutes three minutes in which we are saying 180 seconds is equals to three minutes we are just dividing here i hope you are following lena at home it's a very very uh, interesting lesson make sure you are following we are saying then it is not only one method of working out things as I mentioned earlier on, you can use other methods here. There are a lot of methods in mathematics, but you you you, you just uh, decide which one is suitable for you. Let us use this one. There is a method, Lena at home, whereby in the given in the given uh, uh, seconds, you just subtract a uh, uh, 60, 60 seconds, which is equals to a minute. You just keep on subtracting. We keep on separating 60 uh, uh, seconds. For an example, there is this uh, 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 scenario here, or there is this uh, case here, whereby you are given 240 seconds. Then they ask you how many, uh, how many minutes are, are there? 
240 uh, 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 seconds. Then here, it will you say 240 seconds minus 60. If you subtract this, this 60 is equal to a minute. So if you minus here, you get 180. That's the first step. This is one minute. We subtracted one minute. This is the one minute. Then again, you then say 180 minus another 60. If you subtract this one 60, you are left with 120. This is another minute. This is another minute from this. You are left with 120. Then 120 minus 60. You are left with 60. This is another minute. We subtracted this. Then from, uh, from the 60, 60 there, 60 uh, minus 60, uh, you are left with a zero. This is another minute. How many minutes do we have? One, two, three, four. Which means in 240 seconds, we have four minutes. I hope, Lena, at home, you are following. You write your answer for four minutes four minutes you are there then there is a situation where you are given 120 seconds 128 seconds how many uh, minutes are there still use the same format you will say 128 seconds minus a uh, 60 if you subtract 60 here you'll be left with a uh, 68 we'll be left with 68 this is one minute one minute. Then from 68, you subtract another 60. You are left with only 8. This is another minute. Then now our remainder will be just 8. In this case, in this case, uh, our, our final answer will be, uh, 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 will be 2, 1, 2. So it will be 2 minutes. 2 minutes then eight seconds because we are left with eight is floating there so it will be two minutes eight seconds from 128 seconds two minutes eight seconds i hope you are following lena at home then there is a situation whereby you are just given a, a, a statement or a weight problem. In weight problems, there's one thing that you must remember, Lena, at home. This is just reminding you about the problem-solving model, which is something you are familiar with. You started this earlier in grade 3, then grade 4. Grade 5, you are familiar with this in grade 6. First thing that you do you in a weight problem, you identify the question. Another thing that is very important, make sure... You, you identify also the given facts. Understand the question and also the given facts. Also, uh, make sure you are able to interpret the statement in your own words. Why do we interpret it? To show understanding. Because in mathematics, you must understand what you are doing or what you are, you are just uh, working out. Then after that, you decide on a method because there are many methods in, in, in this. You can be multiplying, you can be dividing, you can be subtracting, adding a lot. So decide on the method. Then after that, you calculate. Then after calculating, you definitely you will get the answer. Then after that, make sure you, you just look at the answer. Is it reasonable? Is it a reasonable answer? So this will help you to see whether you are just a... a Working out, work, working out towards the right track, or you are just uh, 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 on the side. Then, let's say you are given the statement now. There is this statement here. I want us to read very carefully. Three boys ran from Fairview to Nazarene. Then, to get this very clear, Piwa took five minutes, 12 seconds. Sam took six minutes. 28 seconds and the victor took a uh, four minutes 20 seconds then here is our question how long did the fastest runner take then they are saying write your answer in seconds first of all, you must identify the fastest runner here who is the fastest runner people took five minutes five 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 minutes 12 seconds a bigger number Sam took six minutes, six minutes, 28 seconds, a bigger number. But Victor, 
4 minutes 20 seconds which means victor is the fastest runner because he took very very short time 4 minutes 20 seconds he took the, 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 the show. Then changing this to two seconds, Lena at home. You then deal with this. We know that we are, our focus is on Victor. And four minutes, you multiply the four minutes by 60 because we want our answer to be in seconds. Then four minutes multiplied by 60, you get a, a 240 seconds. But we are told that there is an extra 20 seconds there. So from the 240 you will add the 20 seconds then you will get 260 seconds which means victor took 260 seconds i hope lena at home you are following here as you you see here then in, in conclusion uh, let me just remind you what we were just talking about we are given when we are given minutes then to find the seconds you are given the minutes then to find the seconds to find the seconds you multiply by you multiply by uh, you multiply by 60 then in this case we have 3 so from this 3 you just say 3 multiply it by 60 you will get a uh, 180 uh, seconds then 2 minutes 32 seconds we are given the the 32 seconds so it will be 2 multiplied by 60 you get your 120 then from the 120 you add 32 you add it is 32 in which year you will get 152 seconds 52 seconds uh, then uh, when given seconds now to find the minutes you divide by 60 so it will be 120 here divided by 60 then you get two minutes then 80 seconds it will be 80 80 divided by 60 then you simplify this fraction here it will be one minute uh, then 20 out of a uh, 60 which is equals to one a uh, minute uh, 20 uh, seconds i hope lena at home you understood this concept then for your work as our evaluation how many seconds are there in five minutes this is your work you must send your answer in whatsapp how many minutes are there in 20 seconds that's your work but again for additional work you focus on your people's book page 71 submit your work through uh, this conduct number lena at home i mr mbuli saying goodbye thank you very much Thank you very much, Mr. Mbuli, for your wonderful lesson on minutes and seconds. We're hoping your grade five and your grade, grade fives and your grade sixes enjoyed it and they learned a little bit about minutes and seconds. And we are wishing you a lovely day and oh, a lovely thanks. weekend, sir. Thanks a million, Mama. Thank you so much. <laughs> Up next is this, is the Siswati lesson for the Form 1s and the Form 2s with Petsile Masilela. We will be right back after this. Did you think about what I said? I did, and I've made my decision. I'm not going to wait for the courts to return my son to me. I'm going to go get him. Ow, it hurts! Hey, I haven't even touched you yet. Stop being a baby. Kandimba! <laughs> get back here! Kandimba! Kandimba! Where are you? What's with that face? You don't feel well? How did your interview go? Bad. Really bad. Well, I'd coffee. like to have a cup of coffee, please. Because I want to help you out, your I really can't. Your father won't let you. It's just that at this time, the sales of the store don't justify hiring another person, Auntie. But if that's the issue, I could work on commission, Sarah. I already proved to you I'm a good salesperson. Look, I'm really sorry, but jobs don't just pop up because people need them. Maybe you should find someone who feels as lonely as you do. Someone who knows how to spoil you and likes it.
nguvu sele mbugeli nginze nguwe mbugeli eselewe nila kolo lutanza kule kufunza usekaya i home study ilipito la mingno kwa zingwa kata mini kanze kule skati samanti sita ufunza siswa ati selibanga le skombisa kanya nilibanga le sposhongo kanya nae peti le masilela lo savele anami eti ntinte kusagata unja na mshla peti nia pila msagatu unja nwe na lamusha nia pila na mtishela na mshla sloko setfo sisi umkomelo walo nyaka iye basa sinolo waza sisi umkomelo walo nyaka ok upeye kuti bafunzi bako babe bafunze ene kpele nkwa le sfundu Ekpela nguwa les fundu mpe kutu bafunze bakwane kubu mula imi tonvo le chuli le les fundu setu no mage kile nza bali mfisha les taenda les umkome lo walo nyaka. Ok, siba wanga kulu pesi le setembe wakutu mfunze wako ekaya so uvele usili msele les fundu sake mkama nsunga kwa les fundu. Nia bonga kakulu no lwazi. Nia bonga mfunze ekaya nguwe mugele nguvu sele gu infoko tele nguhul na mshla kutingbe na wefuti la pa ebangeni les kombisa ni les potlong. Lobu sela ago, njegoba ashito umsagate angetfulile, nguye peti le masilela, li ya kemete la gelamsa embabane, nguye gelam kemete luane, imvu njala le ngane le taba nawe esfun bensetu salamusha. La posta ushlati ya kona, e inzaba, legio ingwa zilenge na keli, leti umkome lo walonyaga. Mfunzu wami nkela unglungsile leyo nwa zileyo, uta uvula lapa ekasi ni 75. Lapo kona sita ubuka kola umkomelo, walo nyara lupa luengu mage, tembe gile msibi. Nye tamba ke mfunzi so ulungele, na nga kukonke kwa 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 E, singa katube gige mfunzi, asestale ngegubuga bu mtoga bale sifundwa setfu salamusha. Si mtoga ngani sifundwa setfu salamusha. Sifundwa setfu salamusha mfunzi si mtoga, ngoba sita usita gukicha. Likono la kole gwenda nige mfunzi, le gukonza, logo logo vetuwa imi palo. Le yeshugene, gepatine njogoba shito la musha, sita besibuga yona, inzaba le mfisha. Upinza futi mfunzi ukone ne kukona kukubungu la imi konvo le chulile yesi fundvo setu la posta ushlatia kona umkomelo. Ukone futi mfunzi ne kukonza inghulumo le fishagele. Nomage, nomangabi isechendiso nge makama, gusechendiso nge makama eliketelo. Ukone wena mfunzi kukukonza logo ungapitwa nguzuga aselu koteni. Asa sibuwege mfunzu wa amiti shogwana le stau sebende la eti guato. Sisa shlatia yuna inwa tsi inza bayetu le mfisha le tsi umkomelu walo nyaga. Nkshite mfunzu kusi le nwa tsi lena ila pa ekasi ni 75 le ngela unvulele lona. Stau buwa ge mfunzi esfunde ni setfu si kongo sale nzaba. Si buge balingi, timilo te balingi si, la bagi le nzaba. Si buge ne ti funvo, le si ti tfolago, kule nzaba le mfisha, le tu umkomelo, bese se se kipa, nengi giti. Si nga katube gige mfunzi gate, asengu nige, ne mikomo, ya le si funvo se tfu. Si funvo se tfu ge mfunzi, si ti upege gile guti ekpele ngwaso, ukone gukaza. Logo logo funzi wepela esfundu nisetfu lese njulile. Lenge temba kutu usakumbula mfunzi ekaya kuti sasi shakti ya yona inzaba le mfisha leti umkomelu walo nyaga. Ukone futi neguba niga bazali pela lesi batfola giyo le nzaba leti umkomelu walo nyaga. Ukone negu shakti ya upinze usitfole si kongo sayo inzaba. Ukone neguti niga timilo. Esi ya atike mfunzi kusi timilo. Sitite sita tibuga ganjani. Esi katini lese ngile. Ukone neguki paluguti funvo. Upinze ugu segele pela mfunzi wami. Na to timilo ganjalo si ya tisegela. Bese uyakona neguki ubungula. Ingrigiti yake umpali. Lengsenge temba guti. Sasi ya tonza mfunzi guti. Ingrigiti ya mpalo. Si itola ganjani. Nye temba mfunzi guti uyalanzelela. Asas bugege guti esfunven setu lesengile. Ngutipi tingon lesti tindile. 
sitinzeke tishogo le tinza chumfunzi esfunbe nsetu lese ngile sabuga kufinye toa guayo le nzaba lesi ishati yago sasibuga nesi shogo gabandi sabuga nesi ngeniso sayo inzaba leti umkome lo walo nyaka sasi finye tage eh, mfunzi lesi fundwe setu la posabuga kona mfundwo nebanga nbake bopube si pela utibaya tengi isa batengi sati zagamiva neti nwati eskolwe ini basa baya banjwa ge nguye ezwane uise wa mfunvo loli po isa sa, sa ukaza ge mfunzi ni mkomelo gutu umkomelo ngumuvuzo lomuhle imvama mfunzi ngumvuzo lo njani lomuhle kodwa lapha kule nzaba siyaqonza mfunzi ukuthi mfundvo lona longizogqamile wethu uthola umvuzo lobuhlungu wekuboshwa kulo mnyaka kanipela abegadzile mfunzi ukuthi athole eni athole umhlomelo njengoba atayele ukuthi yena vele usihlabani Uya itola imishomelo le yeshugene etifunveni na giyo emakono e, etemilalo. Sabuga ke mfunzi sanika, sasabuga nesinge niso setu. Guti singe niso mfunzi senza papila sine njela le tite le si pege guti si mengayo. Sasabuga guti singe shaya kona ini singe niso salenza. Sabuga ke timba ule timtoka le tifaka ini mfunzi le tifaka so kamile. Lugu mfundo pela. Sabuga nesibega nzaba. Sibega nzaba. Sabuga sibega nzaba senza wo. Lapo inzaba ikala gupi. Ekaya gubo mfundo. Ekamelwe nla. Kepela asalu nselela. Guya eskolweni. Ia tubega inzaba. Yendege epasini. Itubege. Ite iofiga esikolweni. Sibega nzaba se skatile zveto ago, gule nzaba mfunzi, e, e, si ile nzaba ikala ekseni, ikubege, ikubege le emini. Ganzi si mo, le si vetelwe so na mfunzi, lapa esinge nsuen. Mfundo ukage gile, aga chabuli, futu uvagala akwatile, inga bukwati suwe yi nfundo. Siti mfundo sewe putile, ganzi uya shukuti leli langa leli mtoga. Agafaneli apute. E uti kukona ni bandu lafuna kuba kipa gwati. Aba funzi se sfundvo. Lo kukomba kuma pate gale. Ngendvo le tite emoyeni. Yini nge lilenga la pate mfundo gale. No mage lena la ivetago umbali wetu. La esinge nswe nsenza. Loro ke mfunzi nigo logu senda sifune gwati no mage le mibuto le sinayo sifuna ipenvuleke sisa tubega nenzaba. As hambe ke mfunzi ganye ganye si latie, si pinze, si tole, si kongo. No mage li tope lo mfunzi lenzaba. Angu kumbute ke mfunzi kuti yini si kongo no mali tope lo. Mfunzi si kongo. Siti gula pogu penvulega kona umbuto lo mkulu le sibe nao, le sisuga nao, esinge ni sue ni senza aba. Uti mfundo, laba lafuna kuba koka gwati, ba mendeni. Numa geba tacha ni sue ini, futi buba nbuna. Mnu mbuto le siti buta wona mfunzi, egu kaleni, le si vetelo wona esinge ni sue ni. La poge mfunzi si pen, gupenvulega kona, e no mages tola timpenvulo, si tige ngupi mfunzi, guse si kongweni. Nye temba so unagonje kaba nguti, inga bege si kongo, sale nzaba yetu no mage inzaba ya mfunzo, si gupi. Si kongo uge, se nzaba ya mfunzo, e nla po kona, mfunzo, e ati bona, nabo pubes, banga nba kepe. Ngabo liti kangi. Ngabo liti kangi te skolwa la kuluma ngato tishela nshogo. Tipati sabo tishela ngin shogo. Tendan. Beba tingwati. Bako pisane. Bashushumbi se tizaga miva. Lo la poke la stola kona le mpenvulo. Ngalo mbuto wa keba bezo ane loti. Ingabe yende le petwe lo mfana ngale skwama. La sinkonko shele. 
ingabe yini kunkonkoshela mfundzi unkonkoshela bela kubamba into oyiqinise vele umfundo usinkonkoshele sikhwama sho ukuthi sinelutho thite lesikhwama samfundo eh abe sinkonkoshele uyambona zwane ekuseni uma aphuma ekhaya eh ngoba phela na kungale lilanga eh nase bafika esikolweni sesithululo diyatholakala didzakamiva ngiso sikhwama lebe sinkonkoshelwe Loku ke mfunzi konke kuvela nge skati base hovis la tishe la lomkulu. Lapo ke se babu tuwa kona bo mfundo ne banga nba ke. Nge muvo ke kutsi bende jani ba huili tisa ne mfunzi. Nge temba uya kona mfunzi kubona kutsi. Ngu pe esi tonwe nsale nzaba. Sete esi tonwe nsale nzaba. Gulapo kusi tola kona kutsi. Bo mfundo. E, na bupubesi benta ni lapa eskolwe ni beba tingwa tite eskolwa bako pisane basho shumbise niti tzakamiva lose kubashupe liba ngalilite lapa eskolwe ni ingabe ngiyo gambe umkomelo wa mfundo loyo lati uka zile asikube ege mfundi sibuge balingis Sina kange nige mfunzi egu buge ni timilo tebali ngisla baka mile egu lenza chana. Asa skumbutane ngebali ngisi nje laba kona gulenza ba leti umkomelo. Ngoba mshambe so ukoshiwe mfunzi guti gulenza ba le mfisha leti umkomelo bobani bali ngisi. Sina ye mfundo zoane longso kamile. Sina ye zwane, uise wa mfundo, sina ye na pubes. Lo ne banga nbake, la basi tupa. La banga ganigo ita wa mfundo ema kama. Besa sasa ba natishe la mlolongi. Sibe na mkulu, epa sini, nye temba wa ya kumbula mfundo guti, mkulu epa sini, wende gani ba na mfundo. Besa ba ba kona na labanyi ba funzi. Epa sini, gube neba tali. Gula bali ngisige mfunzi wami, naga kutu sita wenda, si milo, sa mfunzo zwane, longu mjali lo kamile, si buge, nesa, babe zwane, longu yise wa mfunzo, si pinze si buge, si milo sa pubesi kuzi pubesi umundu lonjani angege ke mfunzi si babuge e bangani bake labasi tupa lesi ngagani kwa ema kama abo si taubuwa nje pubesi kuzi umumjali noma umumlingisi lonjani asa si tibuge ke mfunzi leti milo tebalingisi Sita ukala nga guti mfunzi sa sibuyele emuva si kumbutane, guti kepa si milo, se mlali, si sitfola kanjani. Si milo se mlali mfunzi, se sitfola nga lago kulumago, se sitfola nga lago endago, no malaba kushogo labanye nga ye. Na ka mfunzi, Umlingi sila kukuluma nge mlomu waki. Kuyasi nigeta kutu umundu lonjani. Na ngabenje umdwana. Abita tinshamba. Sasi ya bona kutu umundu lonjani. Loyo mdwana loyo. Pinze si buge la kwendako. Logu tendo pela mfunzi. Na ngabenje ngbegile umali ngu mtali. Senkanza segute. Senge ya bona kutu. Lanji na ngabegu na ye mfunzo. Kusha uti mfunzo uini, uli sela. Ngoogo le sibona ngago, ue si milo, se mjali. Si pinze futi sibone, laba gusho, sibone si milo, nga laba gusho goge, laba nye ba jali. Noma laba nye ba lingisi, nga ye, loyo mlingisi le simbuga, si milo, sake. Nye temba mfunzi, uya kumbula, no mageso uya bona guti si milo, si milo, le si tipeke leti, yi personali tipe la mfunzi, gulabo mshambe, labanga kone, guvisisa gase, ema kama esi swat. E nas kuluma nge si milo, si kuluma nge personali. Lokisho guti si buga, la kuluma nge mlomu wake, kuyasichela guti umundu lonjani, la guendago, 
yasitela kutsi umuntu lo njani nalaba kushoko labanye ngaye asiqaleke ngekubuka esimilo sasogcamile wethu lo ngumfundo zwane umuntu lo njani umfoka mangweni esta usibuka ke nesakhe babezwane sibuke sitawugcina ngesabhu besi umngani lomkhulu wamfundwa ukuthi ingabe basasebangani yini kuleli langa la namuhla sidakubuka loko mfunzi umshikashika ke mfunzi noma ke inkinga phela umshikashika noma inkinga mfunzi lebhekene nemlingisi iyasita ke kuthi sibone noma ke sithole similo salowo mlingisi ngobe usuke alwa adlubulunzeka loko kusiyasitshela kuthi umuntu lo njani mfundo unesifiso sekwehla lenqola yabobubes nasikhuluma ngekwehla ingqola mfunzi ngiyethemba uyananga ngoba phela temibhalo nje ngoba sishito umfunzi iyakusita ukuthi ukhone kukhaliphisa lilo likhono lakho leke ukuthi uthuthukise nendlela lobhala ngayo ngoba lulwimi lwakho luyanotsa ngetemibhalo nako sikwehla ingqola lokumfunzi kusisho saka lokusiniketa umcondvo lojulile wekwe ukuthi mfundo uthi sowufisa kuyiyekela noma kuphuma kulomkhuba wabo bubesi ngingo lokwehla lencola sowufuna kuyiyekela lomkhuba wabo bubesi laba wendako wekuthengisa tidzakamiva anjalo nje ufuna abhadalwe lokungekwakhe njengoba bamthembisa Unazo futhi nesifiso sekufuna kwemukela umhomelo umhomelo wokuba yini wekuba sihlabani etifundweni njengenhlala yenda phela sowutayele vele mfundo ukuthi uyayithatha imihlomelo eminyakeni konke loku ke mfundi kungasenta sikusenta sikhone kumbona ukuthi imfundo umlingisi lo njani Singasho ukuthi ke mfundo umlingisi lohlakaniphile sisho ngani ukuthi uhlakaniphile siyasekela mfunzi uyaphasa usihlabani etifundweni ngoba uya esikoleni nje kule langa leli uyati ukuthi kukhona umhlomelo lekumele awuthole Ute utwalela bobubesi ubhalela bobesi uthi bende emahluthe ngobe vele kute laba takuthola naso similo samfundo lesi sitholako unjani imfundo uhlakaniphile singasho futhi imfundo ukuthi uyedzelela sisho ngani siyamuva ebhasini nakathi lomkhulu ucela ukuthi amhlalisi uyesuka yena uyashesha ugwala sonke lesitulu uyenda sento phela lokushesha sento mfunzi lokushesha agwale sonke esitulo kusitshela ukuthi unjani uyedzelela uyendlula futhi ubita lomuntu lomdzala ngani ngamdala lokukhomba lokusebala ukuthi mfundo ungumdlali lo njani mfunzi uya uyedzelela phinze ubukelana pants lokunye singasho ukuthi imfundo uyedzelela i mean unesibinzi imfunzi nako siyeva ukuthi ufuna kulwa nebafana laba sithupha abe ayedwa uthi utabafunzisa sifundo ute upaphathele nemukhwa kanzi uyabati nekwe ukuthi banjani badzala kunaye lokho kusikhombisa ukuthi vele imfundo unjani unesibinzi Lokunye lesinga kusho ngamfundo uyaganga Sisho ngani mfundi ukuthi uyaganga mfundo siyambona mfundo ufihla tidzakamiva endlini yelipoyisa uyise wakhe ulipoyisa kepha mfundo wenda njani uyati fihla tidzakamiva lokusikhombisa ukuthi vele usigangile sikhulu mfundo uphinze uphatha nemukhwa emcimbini loku kuganga phela kuphatha silimato emkhathini webantu singasho futhi ukuthi imfundo uhlakaniphele tonke tintfo umfundo wami ekaya 
ngani siyambona wenda tintwe letinyenti sikhatsi sinye nje kutsi uyeba uyashushumbisa uyeba uyashushumbisa udlala ibhola uyendlula futhi imfunzi ibhola lapho lomcimbi usho inkondlo lemnanzi endlule futhi aphasa nasesikolweni ute uyasho kutsi noma angasaphasi kahle Gepa kona la polka malake lita uvela kona livela kupi mfunzi livela ngeke kuti mfundo acine aboshi wenge kuganga liya vela vele umlomo pela uyadala uyati dalela ke mfundo engoba uyati vele kuti wenda asikube ke mfunzi sibuke timilo debadlali sibuka similo sazwane zwane ke une mshika shika yo kwenetisa titsingo temsebenti wasekhaya ekumele aye eqalene nelimcoka emsebentini kanzi umsa wakhe ngala unemcimbi wetipho netinkhulumo esikolweni uyakwenta ke futhi kahle loko loko kusinika ke ukuthi ungubabe lo njani ucotho futhi noma ke singathi wethembekile wendani uyamjezisa umntwana akhe ngalo kufanele akabuki kuthi imfundo seyingati yakhe uyamjezisa mfundo nje ngoba afanele kujeziswa siyeva phela kuthi emva kwekuthi imfundo ele tigebe ngite sikolwa kwathi kubonakala kuthi ujabhile usebuhlungwini kodwa wayibita ijibi kuthi ilanze bomfundo nabo bubesi ya shishimba na bomfunzi ya bamigisa kupi e mapo iseni lo kukskomba kwa nanje kuti agana nginga babezo wane no magubu shunga nchitwe ni ya kekepa uwenda ngekwe tembega umsebendi wake lo kukskombisa kuti unjani ukoto nye temba uya lanze la mfunzi kuti sifsi milo sisi kipa kanjani siya segela ngale uwendega enza beni singa asha futu kuti zwane uya tinaga tinfu Si shongani mfunzi kutu ya tinaga timvo. Si ya muva wea paula. Asa noma kutu mfunzi so unji njega kulu. Se li jahale lile. Ganze ema bange ni la pans. Ap le lile le lite foods. Epa ema bange ni la pans. Abe mfisha nyana. Enlule. So a uya paula. Nange kutu pata kutu. So uya tanza kupola pola. Upinza so unagane tembato. Take mfundo kutu so utoka njani. E uya lengi sanjela patemba tuwa take teskolwa. Aga sabo pinagase. Tai so uposo umkila ema tolo. Gonge logo mlogu skombisa kutu mfundo unjani. E logu skombisa kutu zwane. Uya tinaga tinvo kutu lelanga lelipela. Kumale umele mfundo atoge gase. Ngoba agu hamelani nelusugu. E, lua lue mkomelo, walo nyaka kuti gune mkomelo. Besa se guba, nesi milo sabani, sa pubesi. Pubesi, njene libitio lake, uya lana. Sinatu ule na ganjani pubesi. Kanzo mtu ya lana in. Sieva kuti mfundvo, mwani, gepa, kuti wage, abeba lisa, imbu ya ngelu, tila pa eskolo eni pubesi. Logo tfonsa ke mati mage kwa bo mfundvo amngane wa sheshe ke pubesu waku bona kuti angabamba lthupa. Uya muja mfundvo nge kuti ende nja. Amfage glo mkuba wake ke kuti abako pise apinze futi abafage tengse nle tingwati niti tsaka meva lo kuti nigeta kuti vele nako pubesu uya lana. Na mpila li kisasa, lebe li kaga zile ngo siya mla mfunvo, li kina li anyama la la mfunzi. Singa asho futu kuti, pubesi, uya sabega. Ngoba siya tola kuti, e enza beni, wavigela, enza beni kuti mfunvo, wavigelu angabobo pubesi. Kula banye bebe balisa imbuya, ngeluti. Pinze futu, utikaba ngela ina pubesi, wendan. Uti mfunvo banele kuti, E banele kubona kutu ya pasa, base baya mvigela, bata mvigela bona, bese ena wenda njani, uya bako pisa. Askubege mfunzi sibuge tifundvo, 
sifundwa ke singathi yini tifundwa ngoloko loko ngemakhono ekuphila leso wafunza siyafunza ukuthi kulenzaba sifundza thi bantfu abakucikelele kusheshe bajabulele lusito labanga ngaluceli imvamisa ngoba luye lute netingcabekelwane kanjani mfundvo ke ujabulela kuvikela bobubesi awukwanzisa ukuthi faka embazweni ayibukile lengethemba ukuthi mfundzi uyakhona ukuthi sibona leso sifundvo ukuthi singasi sekela kanjani futhi siyasithola sifundwe sisi bantfu abakhethe bangalaba kahle babuke bantfu labanga ngeta lokuhle empilweni yabo njenga mfundvo uyahluleka kukhetha bangani ukuthi bamvikele ukhetha umfundzi umngani lomonisako uyetayela ute uyena uwonakala uyaphetha ugcina sokushushumbisa tidzakamiva siyafundza ukuthi asikhethe bangani laba kahle nebatali ke abakunake ukuthi kumele babanake bantfu ababo lokho kungasita ukuthi leminye imikhuba incanzeke banga bantfwana bangayende lokusho ukuthi ekuphetheni ke mfundzi singasho ukuthi ingcikithi yale ndzaba yethu yini siyakhona kubona ukuthi ingcikithi guganga kwebafundzi etikolweni lokho ngumgogodla mfundzi lona yini ngumgogodla wale ndzaba lethi umkhomelo walonyaka sesiyasekela ke mfundzi sisekela ngaloko lokwentiwa bomfundvo nebangani bakhe sengephetha ke mfundzi ngiyethemba ukuthi uyakhona kubona licophelo noma sicongo sale nzaba ngiyakhona ngiyethemba ukuthi ukhonile kubona ukuthi sisihlati yenjani timilo tebadlali sasekela ngiyethemba futhi ukuthi ukhonile nekubona ukuthi mfundvo nje zwane e umuntu lonjani na zwane naye umuntu lonjani sesibuka ukuthi ungumtali lokothwa mfundzi ngisho sekwenteke lokubuhlungu sendlula sahlatiya similo sabo bubesi saphinze sabona ukuthi bubesi udicabangela yena mfundzi ekhaya ngicela ke kukukhupha na ngumsebenti mfundzi singakaphetha isifundvo sethu umbuto wekucala uthi ake uchaze emabito ebadlali lababili kulenzaba ukuthi ahambelana njani netendo emamaki mfundzi asiphohlongo wesibili umfundzi umbuto uthi lenzaba yenteka etikhatsi intala muhla liningi lensha likhungethwe tinkinga letinyenti vumela noma evumela lombono usebentise emaphuzu lasiphohlongo ngiyabo ngake mfundzi wami ekhaya ngiyethemba ukuthi usithokotela sifundvo sethu salamuhla sisafundza wona sahlati ya umhlomelo walonyaka sibonge kakhulu phethile sifundvo sakho bese mnanzi kakhulu sethembe umfundzi ekhaya usijabulele sekufesela lalanga lelihle kanye nempela sonfo lenhle ngiyabo ngase sinokwazi nawe kanjalo siyabonga phethile mfundzi welibanga lelishumi sonzela kumabona ukuthi wakho sifundvo sakho lesilandzelako yi chemistry kanye naye pentecost lamini siyabuya khona manje Why should we pay our TV license? The content on our local television is actually more today. The industry is enhanced. It is a criminal offense not to pay your TV license and attracts a fine of 500 emalangini or six months imprisonment. And the industry is definitely blooming, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what we have for you. But we'll be right back just after the break and we'll give you more of Miss V. Pay my TV license. That's why I can enjoy the benefits of an enhanced industry and keep track with recent transformation. Mommy, who pays for TV license and what are they paying for? The owners of TV set and the gadget with a tuner like DVD set have to pay. Pay your TV license at NetBank with the details provided on screen. Or use your cell phone via the mobile money pay. You could also visit your nearest post office and pay there. Pay your TV license via Eswatini Mobile Imani. 
any TV device retailer can purchase a license to trade. Pay your TV license and enhance the industry. Back to Home Study Live on Esotini TV. A very good afternoon to you if you have just joined us. My name is Nogwazi Lamini. Right now we are doing Form 1, I'm sorry, Form 4, <laughs> Chemistry with Mr. Pentecost Lamini, who is already with me in the studio. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Hey, good afternoon, Nogwazi. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, today's topic, molecules and yes. covalent bonds. Yes, today we're doing molecules and covalent bonds. Okay, what are you expecting your Form 4s to have learned by the end of this lesson? Okay. Uh, I'm expecting my form force to uh, to be able to describe the formation of single covalent bonds mm -hmm. as the sharing of pairs of electrons leading to the noble gas configuration. They should also be able to throw dot and cross diagrams to show the formation of single covalent bonds. They should be able to describe the electron arrangement in more complex molecules. They should also be able to investigate the differences in volatility, which includes melting and uh, boiling point, solubility, and electrical conductivity between ionic and covalent compounds. All right, uh, Pentecost, I think uh, you are already in within the topic, I yes. mean, you, the, the lesson right now, so I'll let you continue All with right. your lesson. All right, thank you, Gwazi. Uh, we have different elements in the world. Has one ever wondered how and why different elements combine to form the different substances we come across? For example, how carbon dioxide is formed from carbon and oxygen and how water is formed from hydrogen and oxygen. So today's lesson is basically going to be looking at that. So our introduction, compounds are substances that are formed when atoms of two or more <coughs> elements chemically combine. Chemical combination results in the elements involved, all obtaining a stable gas configuration. Then the joining of these atoms is called chemical bonding. And the force that holds these atoms together is called a chemical bond. We have two different types of bonding, namely ionic, which includes a bonding between a metal and non-metal, and covalent bonding, which is the chemical combination of non-metals. So today's lesson is focusing on covalent bonding, which can be loosely described as the sharing of electrons among atoms to achieve a noble gas configuration. Covalent bonding occurs between nonmetals, as we have highlighted, by sharing the valence electrons to obtain the, near, the nearest noble gas structure and the forming molecules. For example, in a hydrogen molecule, both hydrogen atoms share one electron with each other to form a pair. This pair of shared electron is called a single covalent bond. Now, when two chlorine atoms react together to form a molecule of chlorine, each chlorine atom shares one of its outer electron with another chlorine atom so that they both achieve a full outer shell. Let us look at this example, the, the figure below. Since it is only the outer electrons that are involved in bonding, we do not generally worry about throwing the inner shells. 
Let us look at the figure below. Now we see in two at atoms of chlorine and we know chlorine is in group 7 so that means the valence electron el electrons of chlorine have to be 7 so here is my first chlorine with 7 electrons and the other one with electrons indicated in blue so now what happens is chlorine is going to have the pair of electrons 2, 4, 6 and then one is going to be shared with the other chlorine atom which has two, four, six and one so that in total they have a total of eight electrons so now it is two, four, six, eight for this side and two, four, six, eight for that side so now it is now a stable, a stable molecule Covalent bonding in simple molecules each chlorine atom has seven outer shell electrons, as I've, I've pointed out, and needs one electron in order to achieve a noble gas configuration. The two chlorine atoms overlap and share a pair of electrons, and then one electron from each atom, then in the in the covalent in the covalent bond. We can draw the electronic structure of simple molecules containing a single covalent bond by pairing up the electrons in a similar way. Let us look at how to draw a dot and cross diagram to show the covalent uh, compounds. Let's first start by looking at hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid, my dear Lena, is made from chemically combining two atoms which is atoms of hydrogen and atoms of chlorine so hydrogen has one valence electron so which means it has one electron in the in its outer shell whilst chlorine has seven electrons so one pair of electrons is shared giving the hydrogen two electrons in its outer shell and chlorine eight now we can see that hydrogen is now stable as well as chlorine is stable let us look at the diagram illustrating this again dear Lena, we said hydrogen has one electron in its valence shell and then chlorine has got seven so hydrogen is going to share one electron together with uh, chlorine which will also bring its uh, each one its one electron so that now we have a pair of shared electrons these ones so now hydrogen has a total of two while chlorine has a total of two four six eight so both atoms now are now stable we can look at the dot and cross diagram uh, for water we know, dear Lena, water is composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, as uh, is shown in the diagram. So oxygen has six electrons in its valence uh, shell. Now, oxygen is in group six in the per periodic table we know it has six electrons in its outer shell. So what it is going to do is, it is going to share two electrons with two atoms of hydrogen, as we can see. So one electron will uh, share with one electron of hydrogen, and then another electron of oxygen will share with one electron of, of hydrogen. So that in total, this hydrogen has a total of two electrons and this one has a total of two electrons whilst oxygen now has a total of eight so they are all now stable we also need to be able to throw dot and cross diagrams for many molecules that contain uh, three or more different atoms those such molecules are called complex complex molecules now let us look at ethene for example 
The molecular formula for ethene is C2H4 and the molecular structure is C double bond C then four hydrogen atoms where two of these hydrogens attach on each carbon atom. Let us illustrate this uh, diagrammatically. Now this is what I'm talking about Elena. I have two carbon atoms chemically bonded together so now ethene since ethene we said is has this structure C2 H sorry H4 it is going to share two electrons with I'm sorry carbon is going to share two electrons with the other carbon as we have seen so this carbon is indicated in circles we can see this carbon is going to share two electrons with the other carbon whilst the other carbon which its atoms is uh, 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 indicated using the X the crosses there will also bring on board two uh, electrons so such that this is now called a double bond because why a pair of two electrons comes from each carbon atom together with the other uh, carbon atom bringing on board two electrons so that the total number of shared electrons now is is four again we have carbon here which is going to share one electron with, with this hydrogen and it is going to share one electron with that hydrogen so that now two hydrogens attach on one carbon and again in this manner two hydrogen will also will also attach on on one carbon so that in total hydrogen here will have a total of two electrons even here is two two all the way and then this carbon will have a total of how many electrons two four six eight so it is now stable eight this one also has eight so now this molecule is called a, a stable molecule exercises uh, throw a dot and cross diagram for the molecule methane and nitrogen now methane the molecular formula for methane is ch4 it means that one carbon atom is bonded to how many four hydrogen atoms and single covalent bonds are formed uh, for, for methane whilst triple covalent bonds are formed for for nitrogen double covalent bonds as we we, we have seen are, are formed for ethene let us look at the structure Elena, for methane which is CH4 we know carbon has a, a, a total valence electrons of uh, 4 so that means carbon is in group 4 so it is going to share all the 4 electrons with the different hydrogen atoms so that in total this hydrogen atom will have a total of two electrons this one will have a total of two this one again two all the way two whilst carbon has a total of eight electrons two four six eight so now this is is now is now stable so all the atoms are now are now stable let us look at the dot and cross diagrams uh, for for nitrogen note the number of electrons that are shared now here nitrogen has a total valence electrons of uh, which is five so nitrogen has valence electrons which is five mm -hmm. and then now each nitrogen has five electrons but then how is it going to be able to attain a full outer shell in each of the atoms when a molecule of nitrogen um, is chemically formed uh, through chemical bonding.
So what is going to happen is nitrogen will have the pair of electrons each. It will have the pair of electrons there. And then now it is going to share a total of, it will share three, three electrons so that it has a total of how many electrons if there is three this side and three this side it means now a total a number of shared electrons is, is six so now let us look at the atom this atom of nitrogen already we have six electrons of nitrogen here so if we add the two plus these two we now get eight this side which is also the same for the other nitrogen so now this nitrogen the two atoms of nitrogen are now stable they have now achieved a what a full outer shell let us look at the differences uh, dear Lena, uh, of covalent compounds uh, and ionic compounds uh, we have a table where first of all this side we have covalent compounds and on the right we have ionic compounds so covalent compounds are held together by weak forces between their molecules and therefore they have low melting and boiling points. That also means that covalent compounds are expected to be highly volatile or to have high volatility. Ionic compounds, on the other hand, have a high melting and boiling point. Why? Because they are held together by strong forces of attraction between oppositely charged ions. They therefore have low vola volatility. Covalent compounds are also not soluble in water but are in organic solvents like, like benzene. And then ionic compounds, on the other hand, are soluble in water, as water is able to separate the different ions, making the ionic compound. And lastly, covalent compounds do not conduct electricity, whereas ionic compounds conduct electricity when molten or in solution. There is a homework for you, uh, my dear Lena, just to track uh, our progress. Name the elements, that's question one, name the elements that make up the compound carbon dioxide. Name all the elements that make up carbon dioxide. B. State whether this is an ionic or covalent compound and why? Which one now? State whether carbon dioxide is an ionic compound or a covalent compound. And then three, throw the dot and cross diagram uh, uh, for, this, for this compound. I also have uh, answers there. So carbon dioxide is made of two elements, namely carbon and oxygen. And then B, carbon dioxide is a covalent compound because it chemically combines what? Two nonmetals. Carbon is a nonmetal, oxygen is also a nonmetal. Now, throwing the dot and cross diagrams, we will have carbon uh, bonded to two oxygen atoms, and then each oxygen uh, atom is going to share two electrons with carbon likewise even this side two electrons with with carbon so that in total this oxygen achieves what a full outer shell of two two three four five six seven eight and this one has two four six eight again the other oxygen also will behave in the same manner as the oxygen on the left so we have 888 so now all of these atoms are now stable in summary in today's today's lesson dear Lena, 
we discussed chemical bonding as the chemical combination of two or more atoms to form what molecules and compounds we discussed covalent bonding as the sharing of valence electrons valence electrons being the electrons that give the, the group number to that to that element between different atoms to achieve what a full outer outer shell we further illustrated out how to draw dot and cross diagrams for covalent compounds using the idea of sharing electrons to achieve a full outer shell in each of the different atoms forming the compound. We then compared the differences between ionic and covalent compounds based on their volatility, which includes a, a melting and boiling point, and then based on their solubility as well as electrical conductivity. That's the end of today's lesson. Thank you very much, uh, Pentecost, for your lesson on molecules and covalent bonds. We are hopeful that your Form 4s actually learned something uh, during that lesson. Thank you so much, and we're wishing you a lovely day and, of course, a lovely weekend. Thank you so much, Gwazi. Thank, Thank you for you your so time. Yes. Form 4s, please do not go anywhere. Up, up next is your mathematics lesson with Ndingi Mamba. We will be right back after this. change in technology. Out of home digital media is designed to grab the attention of people who are always on the go. You can now watch your favorite show, Usile Breakfast Show and Dinzaba at 7 on your favorite YouTube channel. It's simple. You can stream these shows by following these quick easy steps. Number one, open YouTube. Number two, search for a Swatin TV and click on a Swatin TV. Number three, after you had entered on a Swatini TV, look for Tinzaba or KPS. And while you edit, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell button to get notifications of our video uploads and streams. And lastly, enjoy the stream. Stay home and watch a Swatini TV. Stay safe. Why should we pay our TV license? The content on our local television is actually more to date. The industry is enhanced. It is a criminal offense not to pay your TV license and attracts a fine of 500 emalangini or six months imprisonment. And the industry is definitely blooming, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what we have for you. But we'll be right back just after the break and we'll give you more of Miss V. Pay my TV license. That's why I can enjoy the benefits of an enhanced industry and keep track with recent transformation. Mommy, who pays for TV license and what are they paying for? The owners of TV set and the gadget with a tuner like DVD set have to pay. Pay your TV license at NetBank with the details provided on screen. Or use your cell phone via the mobile money pay. You could also visit your nearest post office and pay there. Pay your TV license via Eswatini Mobile in Mali. Any TV device retailer can purchase a license to trade. Pay your TV license and enhance the industry. Eo. Your favorite music show is back. We're bringing you the hottest music videos and live studio interviews with your favorite celebrities. We're giving you a front row seat to the latest fashion trends as well as your weekend gig guide. Join us live on social media and call in to send in your shout outs. Catch this weekend Eswatini every Friday at 5.30 p.m. live on Eswatini TV. We praise Kulen Vegi, Super Telezama Mabuza. Oh,
Prophetic voice. Kanyina Status Kuma. Welcome back to Home Study live on SRTN TV. A very good afternoon to you if you have just joined us. My name is Nogwa Zilamini. Right now we're doing mathematics for the form fours with Ndingi Mamba, who is already with me in the studio. Good afternoon, Ndingi. Good afternoon, Gwazi. How are you today? I'm good, and yourself? I'm very well, thank you very much. Uh, today we're doing similarity and congruence. Yes. Okay, yes. what are you expecting your form fours to have learned by the end of this lesson? Uh, they must be able to identify similar figures mm -hmm. and then show that two triangles are congruent or two triangles are similar okay. and then calculate length and um, area and volumes of similar figures. All right. Thank you so much for that, Ndingi. From Force, I hope that you are ready for your lesson, the last lesson for the day. And of course, to remind you that not only are we live on Eswatini TV, but we're also live on our YouTube and our Facebook channels where you guys can also join us. Please feel free to use the WhatsApp number to text us any questions that you might have. You may please begin with your lesson. Thank you, Gwazi. Good afternoon, dear Lena at home. Uh, today we're going to be looking at similarity and congruence. So you might ask yourself, why is it important for one to do or know about similarity and congruence? So similarity and congruence is something that is applicable in our everyday life uh, in fields like photography, graphic designs, architecture, construction, manufacturing. So you find that some in most of the time, they're going to manufacture a model before they manufacture the, the real uh, item that needs to be manufactured. So I had already said earlier that um, by the end of the lesson, you as a learner, you are expected to be able to identify similar figures, show that triangles are two triangles or three triangles are congruent or similar, and you must be able to solve problems involving length, areas, and volumes of similar figures. Uh, what do you need to remember for you to proceed with the lesson smoothly? You must remember what you covered in transformations. So remember we said in transformations, we have transformations, enlargement, rotation, reflection, and so on. You must also remember what was covered in angle properties of a circle. Uh, you must also be able to remember all that you did concerning angles, uh, more especially angles formed by parallel lines and a transversal, uh, properties of vertically opposite angles, angles in an isosceles triangle, and uh, polygons. So that is what you must know for you to proceed smoothly. What do you mean by fig two figures or figures being congruent? So congruent figures are figures that have the same shape and size. So in terms of the transformations, we are saying figures that are related by reflection, rotation, translation, or enlargement or with scale factor one, those are said to be congruent. Like in my case here, I have these, they are all equal in shape and they are the same shape and they are all equal in size. Hence, all these four triangles are congruent. And then, what do you mean by similar figures now? So we say two figures or two triangles are similar when they are related by the transformation enlargement. Uh, how are they similar? When they are similar, we say they have the same shape but different size. So if we look at these triangles here, you can see that they have the same shape, but this triangle is bigger than the, the other one. Same thing here, we have this triangle, uh, which is inside that one, it's smaller, and we have the second bigger one here. So these two, we say um, these triangles are, are similar. 
let us look at um, rules for for proving congruence in triangles so we cannot just say by mere looking that two triangles are congruent so we need to prove that indeed they are congruent because of reason one two three so we said congruent uh, figures they have equal they have equal size size and shape so we have these conditions. So the first condition to prove that two triangles are congruent is that all the sides of the two triangles, if we're talking about triangle A and triangle B, so we are saying all the sides, these must be equal. So the corresponding sides must be equal uh, of the two triangles. And then we also have these, um, which is two sides of a triangle and the inclusive uh, and the inclusive angle. So if we have a, the, the two triangles here, and then we want to prove that these two triangles are congruent, we are saying these sides, if they are corresponding, must be equal. And then this one, these two must also be be equal and the inclusive angle so the inclusive angle is the angle between the two sides that are, are equal so that is another a uh, condition that you use and then the other condition is that if the two triangles are right angle triangles so for right angle triangles remember we said it is one that has a 90 degrees angle so we are saying these two tri right angle triangle must have equal hypotenuse and a side corresponding sides must also be be equal and then uh, the other condition is that um, a side for two triangles uh, is that a side this if this side uh, are equal or two corresponding sides like a side for both are equal and two angles corresponding angles must also be be equal then we can say that those two triangles our triangles a and b are, are congruent so before you conclude you must state which of the laws you've used to to show that the triangles are are congruent let us look at this uh, example here so this uh, it says we have a tri uh, we have this particular a uh, cyclic a equilateral I'm, I'm sorry cyclic quadrilateral which means it is uh, all its sides vertices are inside the circle and then we are told that um, uh, these are diagonals and they meet at the point x there and then we are asked to show that a triangle klx so it is klx so we're moving in that direction so triangle klx uh, is congruent to triangle M P X. So we're moving in that direction. So the order, uh, because we said it must be corresponding, corresponding sides. So this is K L X, which means that uh, it's going to be a uh, P M X, because we are showing that these two triangles are are congruent so if we're to look for corresponding sides in this triangle kl must correspond to uh, the side mp and then side lx must correspond with the side mp so when you are proving dlna it is very important uh, to take note of the labeling of your your triangles so let us start uh, proving so we'll use uh, this uh, rule which is a side and two angles so let us look at the angles we have angle pmx so which is pmx this angle and then an angle kxl so kxl and this one so we are saying these two are equal by the property that they are vertically opposite angles and then we move on uh, remember these are the triangles that we want to show that uh, the to prove that they are, are, are congruent and then we also take 
angle XKL, so XKL, this angle here, and then angle XPM, XPM, this one here. And then we are saying these two angles are equal using now uh, angles in a circle. Uh, we said if they are subtended by the same chord LM and they are in the same segment, they are going to be equal. So we have written, we have proved that uh, angles in the same segment. And then we are also sh told using this that the side LX and the side MX are equal. So we have proved using a side and two angles. So we can then conclude that these two triangles, KLX and MPX, are, are congruent. Now, let us move on. And then the next question says, let us show that this cyclic um, a quadrilateral of ours is a trapezium. So to show that it is a trapezium, we have to show that LM and KP are parallel. So if LM, this one, is parallel to this one, then uh, we have shown that that is a trapezium. So how can we show that? Let's look at the angles again. We have LMK, LMK, this angle here, and LPK, LPK, this one. We are saying those two angles are, are equal using the property of angles in the same segment. And then LMK, LMK, and a P L M. So this one and this one. L M K and P L M. So these two here, we are saying those are are equal because of the because we are told that these two sides are equal. So these two angles are going to be equal. Uh, when we talk of equal angles in an isosceles triangle. And then we have PKM, so PKM, this angle here, which is equal to PLM, PLM, this one again. So, and then LMK, LMK, which is this one, and uh, LMK, PKM. So we are saying these ones are alternate angles. So because we have proved that these angles are equal, we can we have then said we have proved that this one is a a trapezium. Let us then move on to look at uh, similar figures. So remember we said two figures are similar if a uh, one is an, an enlargement of, of the other. Again, even in similarity, we have rules that we have to, to use to prove that two triangles are, are similar. We all, again, we can use the rule that include sides. But now we are saying the sides must be in a corresponding ratio. So corresponding sides must be in the same ratio. And then we can also use a side, two sides and the inclusive angle. So the two sides also must be in the same ratio. We can use uh, the hypotenuse uh, and so on. And we can also use just two angles. If two angles in the triangles are equal, we can then show that those two figures are as uh, a similar so we are saying corresponding sides are proportional and corresponding angles are, are equal that is uh, the rules for showing similarity let us look at the uh, an example so we are told that we are asked to show that triangle k k p x so this triangle here we are asked to show that it is similar to triangle uh, M L X. So this triangle, this one here. So we are saying this is similar 
to that one. You cannot just say by mere looking. So again, we have to prove. Using two angles, we are saying this angle here and that one are equal because they are vertically opposite angles. And then these two angles here are equal because they are in the same segment. So we have used uh, the, the fact that two angles in the two triangle, two triangles are equal to show that these are, are similar. We can also use this angle here because again using angles in the same segment, these two are are equal. So we have all the interior angles in both triangles and corresponding angles. We have them being proved that they are they are equal. So we can conclude that triangle uh, KPX uh, is similar to triangle L, uh, MLX. So we have proved that one. And then uh, if now we are given figures, we are told that LM, this side is 26 centimeters. And then LX, LX, we are told it is 10.4 centimeters. And PX is 5 centimeters. Then we are asked to find uh, the length of K, KP. How can you find the length of KP? Remember we said in similar figures, the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So in this case, we have the side LX corresponding to the side PX. So if these are corresponding, we can get the ratio. So in which these two are related using their sides. So it's going to be the ratio is 10.4 is to 5. That is the ratio of sides. And then using that ratio, we can then substitute uh, 25, 26, which is LM. It must be in the same ratio with KP that we are looking for. So we, using cross multiplication and then uh, removing uh, 10.4, we get 5 times 26 divided by 10.4, giving us this to be 12.5 centimeters. Now, and then uh, we are asked to write the ratio of the area of triangle KPX, so KPX, to LMX. So in the first question, we proved that KPX is similar to LMX. If we're asked to write the, the area, the ratio of the area, so the ratio of the area will be such that it's going to be equivalent to the square of the ratio of the sides. So the ratio of sides, we have said it is 10.4 is to Five because those are corresponding sides, this side corresponding with that one. And then that gives us the ratio of sides. And then to find the ratio of area, we square the ratio of sides so that the ratio of area is going to be 110.25 is to 25. Simplifying, we get 22.05 is to 1. That is the ratio of, of area. Now, using that, uh, the fact that when we have two similar figures, we can get the area by knowing uh, the ratio of sides. So we then apply it further into solids. Not, we don't restrict it only to uh, triangles. So we are told here that we are given a diagram that shows uh, the ends of two similar prisms. So once they say two similar prism, then we know that we can apply the ratio of sides uh, for similar figures. And then uh, we are told that the area of the smaller prism, this is the smaller prism, 
it has an area of a quarter of meter squared and then we are asked to calculate the area of the larger prism so to do that we are given the length so we first have to write the ratio of lengths so i mean the ratio of sides so the ratio of sides is going to be 40 is to 60 bearing in mind that uh, the 40 is for the smaller uh, prism and then the 60 is for the bigger prism so when you write that you must know what you are talking about so the ratio is going to be 40 is to 60 simplifying that by dividing by 10 and then dividing by 2 or dividing by 20 let, let me say you get the ratio that is 2 is to 3 and this one is the ratio of of sides we want to find the area the question said let us calculate the area of the larger prism so the ratio of of sides is going to be 2 is to 3 the ratio of area is going to be 4 is to 9 which is the square of the ratio of of sides and then substituting we get uh, the square which is 4 is to 9 and then the smaller prism has an area of 0 0.25 which is a quarter and then the uh, the bigger one is x we can assign it x which is an unknown and then cross multiplying we get the area of the bigger fig a prism as 0 0.5625 meters squared sorry Ndingi, can i please interrupt you uh, could you please take a bit of a break viewers okay. at home we will be right back after this with the change in technology out of home digital media is designed to grab the attention of people who are always on the go. You can now watch your favorite show, Usile Breakfast Show and Dinzaba at 7 on your favorite YouTube channel. It's simple. You can stream these shows by following these quick, easy steps. Number one, open YouTube. Number two, search for a Swatin TV and click on a Swatin TV. Number three, after you had entered on a Swatini TV, look for Dinzaba or KPS. And while you at it, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell button to get notifications of our video uploads and streams. And lastly, enjoy the stream. Stay home and watch a Swatini TV. Stay safe. Why should we pay our TV license? The content on our local television is actually more to date. The industry is enhanced. It is a criminal offense not to pay your TV license and attracts a fine of 500 emalangini or six months imprisonment. And the industry is definitely blooming, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what we have for you. But we'll be right back just after the break and we'll give you more of Miss V pay my TV license. That's why I can enjoy the benefits of an enhanced industry and keep track with this and transformation. Mom, who pays for a TV license and what are they paying for? The owners of TV set and the gadget with a tuner like DVD set have to pay. Pay your TV license at NetBank with the details provided on screen. Or use your cell phone via the mobile money pay. You could also visit your nearest post office and pay there. Pay your TV license via Eswatini Mobile Imag. Any TV device retailer can purchase a license to trade. Pay your TV license and then come back to home study on Eswatini TV. Before the break, we were doing mathematics for the Form 4s with Ndingi Mamba. We are going to continue with that. Ndingi, you may please continue with your lesson. Thank you, Gwazi. So before the break, dear Elena, we were looking at two prisms and uh, for the two prisms, we were told that uh, the smaller prism, uh, the smaller prism, we're told that it has a, a length of uh, 40 and then the bigger one has a length of, of, of 60 or diameter of 60. And then 
we were asked and we were given that the area for this smaller prism is a quarter of a meter and then we're asked to find the area of the bigger one and then i said to do that dear Lena, we first have to write the ratio of size so the ratio of sides is 40 is to 60. And then I said, bear in mind that the 40 is for the smaller prism. Uh, simplifying this by dividing by 20, we get ratio of sides as 2 is to 3. And then I said earlier that to find the ratio of area, you square the ratio of sides. So squaring 2 and squaring 3, we get... 4 is to 9. That is the ratio of area. Then substituting the area that we are given, which is a quarter, which is equivalent to 0 0.25, uh, substituting that into the ratio, we remain with only one unknown, which is the area of the, of the bigger prism. So when you cross multiply and then divide, uh, you get that the area of the larger prism is 0 0.5625 and then uh, we asked the next question to find the volume of the smaller one now again we use the ratio of sides and then because now we are looking for volume we do not square the ratio of sides we cube the ratio of sides to get the ratio of volumes so it's going eight is the same as two cubed and 27 is the same as 3 cubed so 3 cubed and 2 cubed gives us 8 is to 27 and then the air, the volume of the larger prism was given as 9 over 8 a uh, cubic meters now and then again using cross multiplication a uh, we get that the volume of the smaller prism is 0 0.333. Uh, Gwazi has something to say. I'm sorry, but um, I think I may, I'm sorry to do this to you, but I, I feel like you must just please wrap up your lesson, uh, please. Okay, thank, thank you me. very much, Gwazi. So we were looking at similar similarity and congruence and then we said uh, for triangles we can prove that two triangles are, are similar or congruent to prove that they are congruent we can use sides uh, a side and an angle a right hand a triangle and a side and two angles so we are saying corresponding sides and angles must be equal for congruence but uh, when we are proving similarity, we are saying corresponding sides must be proportional and corresponding angles must be equal. So that is uh, for similarity and, and congruence. So in our lesson today, we said we can identify similar figures and we said when they are similar, they are figures that uh, look alike they are related by an enlargement yet when they are congruent we said they are the same size and same shape uh, we also looked at solve, uh, solving problems involving lengths areas and volumes of similar figures so we said for similar figures once you have the ratio of sides you can use the ratio of sides and square that ratio of sides to find the ratio of area and then substituting the given area you can find the area of the other figure that is not given and then to find volume you cube the ratio of sides substitute into that and use a, a ratios to find the volume that you are looking for so that is what we were doing in our lesson today thank you very much Gwazi 
Thank you so much, Ndinge, for your lesson. And of course, I'm hoping your Form 4s learned a little bit about that lesson. Uh, thank you so much, and we're wishing you a lovely day and, of course, a lovely weekend. Thank you very much, Gwazi. Thank you very much. That brings us to the end of the show, unfortunately, viewers at home. Just to say thank you, of course, for tuning in every single day from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. And, of course, thank you to the best two teams that I've ever worked with. Thank you guys for making me looking pr look pretty and also amazing. Thank you so much. And of course, a shout out to my family, my friends. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for supporting me every single day. And of course, a humongous thank you to you, dear viewer at home, dear learner. Thank you so much for tuning in every single day to learn a couple of things uh, about your lessons, of course. Thank you so much. Wishing you a happy and safe festive season from myself, Nogwazi, Inform B M Alangeni and the best two teams that I have ever worked with in my entire life. Thank you so so much. Say it with me now. Bye. If I don't do this now then